okay so last week uh, we studied about uh, antichrist for uh, part 1 we studied so there we are seen that uh, antichrist so what is the meaning of antichrist can uh, any of you tell gopal or home brother can you tell me what is the meaning of antichrist as per the bible Um, as I understand that, um, even though as a as a as a Christian that we are not following the good good path, like a bit, better path to the um, is is paint paint step, I think. So and it's it's about um, it is a system because of system. It is okay. Good. So it is a system. So, oh, Gopal brother, what about you? Yes, brother. It's 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 not a person. Antichrist is not a person, but it's a corrupt systems. Okay. Among the Christians. Okay. So, what is the real meaning of actually word anti-Christ? So. Uh, does it apply to uh, the people of other religion apart from Christianity, or uh, does it apply to whom? It is it is applied to Christians, brother. Okay, what type of Christians? Uh, Christians means what? Uh, does it apply to everybody, or uh, who particularly? Mm, no, it's not applied to all, but it's applied to those Christians uh, who use the name of Jesus Christ and. Uh, actually, they are the agents of like uh, devils, uh, following the devils, things, doctrines. Okay, good. Okay, so uh, this is what we studied uh, last week. Good that you have come to a good understanding. So, Antichrist is a system, a corrupt uh, religious uh, uh, system among uh, Christianity. It's not among any other religion apart from Christianity. So, uh, regarding this, only we saw that uh, uh, so many scriptures where Apostle John says that uh, there are already many Antichrist uh, uh, and uh, even Apostle uh, Paul says that uh, there must be a falling away first, then the uh, man of sin should uh, come to light. You see? And uh, moreover, Apostle Paul said also in uh, Acts of the Apostles that after uh, uh, him, uh, other uh, persons will come who will deceive the disciples of Christ and make them followers of themselves. And uh, they will use uh, false doctrines uh, to deceive them. And uh, a time will come that the people will give heed and uh, hear to the doctrines of the devil. That means the devil will start preaching among Christianity. So, okay, <clears throat> last week we studied this one. We also studied about two parables. Can anybody tell me which is the parable we studied last week? Home brother, which two parables we studied last week? Can you tell me any one of them? One parable of um, uh, the seed of what you call mustard seeds. Good. What is the meaning of it? Can you tell me what is the meaning of the parable of the mustard seed, brother? So, who is the man who took the seed? Uh, the, the, the man is uh, the Christ himself. He he came to the uh, earth to sort the God's word. Hmm. And uh, the birds are, are like, he came to the trees that are uh, the... Like uh, Antichrist, who oh, can say that uh, um, devils mm. and the uh, tree as a as, as a church. So okay, tree so, are uh, we are tree. Okay, so what is the meaning of the seed? What is a seed? What does it mean? It, it means like uh, the word of God. Good, it's the word of God. So okay. So it was planted and it became a uh, tree 
a huge tree that the birds of the air came and nested inside. What is the meaning of the birds in this parable? The birds is are uh, like um, who can say that antichrist? False doctrines through the yes. system that came and uh, established inside the churches. So <clears throat> very good. Okay, now next parable, uh, parable, second parable. Go for brother. We read about the second parable also. Can you tell me what is the parable which we read last week? About unleavened bread. Good. So uh, bread is, uh, there are three loaves of bread. Three meal. Three, oh, it's yes. It's not a complete bread. It's a, what, floor, floor of a, a bread, you can call it as. Yes, three meals and uh, like uh, living on, on, I forgot that word, like living. Mm. Living re represents the false doctrines. Correct. And the three meals represents love, hope, and faith. Good. So what happened once the living was added to this three? Uh, when living was added to this three, then uh, all these things like love, hope, faith, there will be no perfect love, uh, no perfect hope, and like uh, faith is also corrupted. Good. Okay. So last week uh, we studied uh, till uh, here. So new this week uh, uh, we'll uh, continue our studies about the uh, second part of the Antichrist. Uh, so once uh, these uh, false doctrines came inside the church, uh, automatically, uh, slowly, what happened if you see the brethren? Uh, the church actually initially was established in five important uh, uh, places. Uh, you see, that was in actually Jerusalem, Antioch, and uh, Rome, Constantinople, and uh, Egypt. These are the five places that uh, the church was first uh, established. Uh, you see, and in all these, uh, uh, you see, uh, five places, they were actually. Uh, you see, many pastors or many elders uh, were there. Okay, like for example, in Jerusalem, there were multiple churches, and in all the churches, there used to be a pastor or a elder used to manage the affairs of the church and all. Now, for the entire uh, place of Jerusalem, for all the pastors, uh, there used to be a bishop. Okay, so the word actually, uh, you see, the Pastor, elder, and bishop, they're all actually coming from the one word uh, that is uh, actually the word called as a minister or a servant. Now, what is the meaning of the word minister? If you see, as per the Bible, the word minister actually means to serve somebody. Initially, uh, that was the real meaning. But now today, what has happened? Uh, the word minister has got a total different meaning. If you see any minister, you see, coming, there is a lot more respect given to the minister because they think that the minister is a very, you see, dignified and a very uh, topmost position. But as per the Bible, minister means actually a servant. Like, for example, Jesus, you see, it says about Jesus, no? In Matthew 10.45. Can somebody read with her? Matthew 10.45. Matthew and Mark, Mark, sorry, Mark 10, 45. For even the son of man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. See, minister, you see, came not to be ministered, but unto minister, that means to serve. This is actually <coughs> a real meaning of the word, you see. Bishop. But uh, this, uh, as uh, you see, church began to spread in all of the places, the meaning uh, went off. So, what happened? They were actually five bishops in these five important places. And uh, among these five bishops, you know, you see what happened? Actually, the competition began to grow inside the church. Then, slowly, you know, what happened? The church was divided into two parts. One is the clergy. The clergy are the people who take care of the administration, who come on the dais, who lead the service and take care of the church. This part was called, called as the clergy. 
and the laity and who are the laity if you see the ordinary members of the church who come just visit and go so the church was divided into two you see uh, parts uh, clergy and the laity the laity had no part in the activities of the clergy and all this laity you see the members they used to consider this uh, clergy as a very high standard people you see because of their service uh, and uh, this was you see misused uh, by these uh, bishops uh, actually you see it was like uh, something like uh, two classes uh, were coming into the church the existence of the two classes came into the church like for example if you go to uh, in a airplane there is a business class and the economy class no? so same way the two classes got bifurcated uh, clearly the difference uh, you see they came into the church uh, jesus never said uh, all these things that uh, he said all are you are equal you are all brothers uh, okay nobody is great uh, and nobody is low but uh, because uh, the people used to give them high respect uh, and they used to think high of themselves uh, slowly pride came into the church dear brethren and uh, they used to wear grand uh, and glorious uh, dresses uh, you see a very very costly robes uh, huh? why because uh, you see uh, to show that they are superior to the ordinary members of the church uh, compared to the ordinary members of the church uh, they are totally different they are superior they to show this one dear brethren you see this uh, uh, things were uh, done you see uh, dress uh, putting on a dress putting on a title and uh, similarly you see uh, the people also began to respect them in a similar way you see like for example people used to call them oh pastor oh bishop and uh, you see uh, that was uh, uh, taken as somewhat uh, dignified and uh, respectable uh, way dear brethren But what does the bible say jesus said no we are ready so no huh? can we call anybody as a uh, father should we call anybody as father no no except uh, i will father yes nobody should be called as father matthew 23 8 and 9 jesus clearly said this was totally violated you see and they used to call them as spiritual fathers and slowly what happened you see the title of saints uh, they began to put uh, what is the meaning of saints uh? saint uh, is actually a short form of the word sanctified sanctified means what to be holy you see we are all unrighteous we are all sinners and nobody is holy in the sight of god but how do we become holy it says now in first corinthians 1 2 it is because of the blood of jesus that we become holy but uh, what happened in the church uh, particularly some important persons uh, you see Uh, they were considered as holy devotees and they used to give a special title and all and uh, they were you see uh, and uh, raised to such a place uh, equal to christ uh, claiming that uh, they are the mediator between god and man apart from jesus so if we need to pray we need to pray to this dead saints uh, and these dead saints will take our prayer to jesus issues uh, Like similarly the same way the concept came about mary mother teresa saint anthony saint xavier saint <clears throat> philemon you see all these things so what does the bible say eh? bible says we got only one god and one mediator between god and man that is christ jesus so slowly this concept you see crept inside the false doctrine corruptions of the church then uh, reverend uh, what is the meaning of reverend who is called reverend in the bible right uh, god only uh, god only you see psalm 111 19 it says no yes uh, holy and reverend is his name god's name but uh, man began to put this title for himself uh, you see imagine uh, where is god and where is man If you see in Psalm eight chapter, perfect man was created much lower than the angels. Forget about the sinful man; he is still much lower. Can a sinful man be equal to Almighty God? Never, dear brethren. So, hence what happened? You see, now these titles, uh, which were totally against uh, the scriptures, uh, you see, they used to claim for. Uh, 
themselves uh, calling reverend. Uh, yeah, it is God's name. Nobody can keep God's name and title. Then slowly, uh, the name they used to add uh, these uh, titles before their name. You see, like prefix, pastor so and so, reverend uh, doctor so and so. Uh, actually, we have seen this one also in the basic class initial stages. Uh, we are not supposed to add uh, our, uh, uh, you see, work uh, besides our name. Uh, do everybody put their work besides the name? No. Only particular people like uh, professor, doctor, general, sergeant, uh, honorable justice, uh, they only put the name. There's a reason for it also. But uh, this was uh, misused in the church uh, and they began to, you see, they brethren and walk in a very grand way. Uh, you see, they used to come like uh, princess and queens, uh, you see. Uh, it was much like uh, walking on a red carpet uh, or uh, uh, going to a circus, uh, dear brethren. So, they began to exhibit uh, more of themselves than of Christ. So, all this uh, was, uh, you see, uh, came to a very big level, you see, during the days of Constantine. During those days, actually, Constantine was the emperor of Rome. Till then, Rome was the capital of the entire world. But uh, during that day, during those days, uh, Constantine, there was a war between Constantine, the Rome Emperor, and other, you see, uh, emperors. That time, when Constantine went for the war, it seems that he saw a cross on the uh, sky. And uh, after uh, seeing this cross on the sky, when he went to the war, he won the war. And when he came back, he inquired, what is this cross? Then many people said, this is a sign of a Christian. This is a cross. The Jesus died on the cross. And uh, because of that reason, he got converted to Christianity, thinking that it is Jesus who gave the victory. You see? And once uh, he got uh, baptized and became a Christian, he became only for namesake. It not, uh, you see, became a Christian because of love of Christ, uh, because of uh, faith on the Bible. You see, he became a Christian because, uh, you see, he won the war. And uh, as he was the emperor, he began to offer, uh, you see, a lot of uh, uh, opportunities uh, like job, marriage, uh, you see, property, benefits uh, uh, for all the people who will get converted to Christianity. And utilizing this opportunity, the entire city of Rome, the entire people of Rome, they got converted to Christianity. So what happened? Suddenly, the church began to grow very huge. Large, massive crowds, uh, thousand people came to the church. Earlier, the church was in a small place, in a house and all. But now, what happened? Uh, how can thousand people uh, be accommodated in a house? So, what happened? Uh, uh, the king uh, he used to build a cathedral. That is how the cathedrals came into existence, you see. Because if a king uh, is building a church, how will you build a church? Will you build like a small hut, a small place? No. Based on his standard, he began to construct huge cathedrals. Now, if the huh, church is uh, very big, you know, so many people are coming, who will take care of them? The bishop has to take care now. So if a bishop has to take care, if he goes to the work, then who will take care of them? So the king told, and there is no need for a bishop to go to the Work. So I'll pay the salary. Then you see, dear brethren, uh, the king is to pay salaries. Uh, okay. Then what happened? The huge crowd who came to the church, no, they were not Christians. Uh, they were all heathens who were worshipping idols and all various things in uh, before coming to Christianity. But once they came into Christianity, they came to know that uh, there is no festivals, uh, there's no nothing, no celebration in Christianity. Then what happened? Then slowly they began to go one by one. That is the time that the king wanted to keep everybody in Christianity. That all the Ethan practices, he came and crept into the church. All the things, same things. There, God was worshipped. Here, God is also worshipped. There, son of God is worshipped. Here, also son of God is worshipped. There, mother of God is also worshipped. Here, mother of God is also worshipped. They used to put clothes, give bath, offer flowers. Uh, then put incense and uh, 
light a candle same things and all came to the church but they were all doing it for mary and jesus they used to go down before it be bohram with the idol and take a idol and do huh? you see uh, round or no entire city you see they have ran so all these things crept inside the church because of this such huge crowd and uh, huh? then if the uh, bishop's uh, house is small uh, is it good no king when he is build a huge cathedral he said on the back side of the cathedral itself uh, they will start building a bishop's house why because so many people has to be taken care if a bishop house is very far from the church how will the people contact him how will the people seek his help that is the time they began to, the king and emperor began to build bishop's house how did the bishop house be if cathedral is big if bishop house is small is it okay no so they used to build a great great big big grand bishop's house that is the time you see and the salary was paid to the bishops directly from the eh, emperor so slowly what happened the bishop forgot about the spiritual welfare of the church because he was receiving his money he was getting his salary so ultimately what happened the entire thing he began to depend on whom on the emperor so whatever the emperor is to tell he is to listen and is then so there what happened the spiritual growth of the empire eh, people got taken to nothing you see it was totally gone so as the time went on suddenly you see constantine shifted his capital of the roman empire from rome to constantinople you see so once uh, you see the power uh, the capital was uh, shifted to constantinople what happened there was nobody to take care of the charges in rome there was no emperor the emperor was in constantinople so any problem the people used to come and contact whom they used to come and contact the uh, uh, emperor before but now nobody was there so after the emperor the only person whom they can contact and seek for a help was a bishop of rome so ultimately what happened uh, slowly the people came in contacted uh, and had uh, importance uh, for the bishop of rome so ultimately what happened you know divudran uh, that uh, constantine emperor died then uh, justinian the next emperor came he was a very you see religious person and he thought uh, oh i can't take this uh, uh, responsibility of the spiritual welfare and civil welfare of the people and that is the time that he gave all the power to the bishop of rome but for this one you see huh, all the other four bishops huh, they revolted no no how can i give the entire power to that bishop we are all there you should also get the opportunity then you saw what happened justin and said what i have said is said all the four bishops should surrender to this one bishop in rome and that is the time that he called the bishop in rome as papa pope pope means papa in latin he is the papa for all the bishops that is the time you <clears throat> see the concept of pope bishop and all came you see dear brethren and uh, all the title of a religious and the civil uh, and the title political title was handed over from the king to the pope or the first pope and uh, all the bishops who, who opposed it they were told to agree or else uh, they would be you see severely punished and uh, uh, there was no choice for the four bishops then to surrender to the king this is the time and this is how you see the pope came into power he was called as the pontifex maximus what is the meaning of pontifex maximus if you see maximus means maximum you see maximum to a very great extent pontifex means the chief religious ruler this title was originally belonging to the emperor of rome but once the emperor denied to have it you see that was taken by whom that was taken by actually uh, the bishop of rome and he was called as the pope the father of all the bishops then 
since then you see the pope began to put several titles you have read like holy father of fathers you see chief pastor pastor of pastors most divine of all the heads he was called he was calling himself as christ by unction you see and uh, one more uh, title was uh, claimed by him that means vicarius filidi you see vicar means what vice sergeant uh, vice sergeant you heard now vice president uh, so that means instead of christ christ was a son of god so he died so we are also sons of god so we are instead of christ so he claimed himself to be christ then abraham by patriarch melchizedek in order moses in authority holy father of fathers the high priest the supreme you see bishop that is the time the pope is to claim that uh, god has given me the authority and power to send anybody to hell and heaven if anybody doesn't agree to me if i show my left hand you will all go to see hell curses will come and if you bless it in right hand you will all go to heaven and uh, confession was created all the people is come uh, and confess the faults uh, to the bishop of uh, brain and uh, they is to sell indulgences what is indulgence if you see any sin you commit uh, you need to pay some uh, price uh, to the church if you pay some price that sins are forgiven and uh, moreover all the ancestors who died by committing various sin or suffering in hell if the amount is paid here immediately their souls will be delivered from hell to heaven it seems so huge funds was collected because of these indulgences and with this amount only today the vatican city is built and pope even today claim that jesus has given the two keys to him the hell and heaven so all these things sir pope did and anybody who protested against this system were totally you see barbarically killed in various way they were beheaded they were hunted down they were slaughtered you see and that is the time that uh, you see great uh, uh, frightening came among uh, the church uh, that uh, everybody began to obey pope because if you speak anything as the pope what will happen the pope will start punishing you you see dear brethren therefore the bishop the, the pope is to throne any king he wants and he is to dethrone any king he don't want so all the emperors of the rome were totally obedient to the pope nobody opened their mouth for anything against the pope and you see anybody who revolted who spoke against the pope they punished severely many of the emperors were tried to speak you see they were actually uh, uh, made naked and to stand in the snow uh, you see in very chill weather from morning to evening and after that one they have to come to the pope upon their knees they need to walk on their knees from the you see gate till the throne of pope and remove the shoes of pope and kiss uh, his feet all these things you see the brethren they used to do by claiming the scriptures by using the scriptures you see see all these things are written in the bible that's why you need to do it they were forcing the people and emperor to do it see psalm second chapter with us psalm second chapter psalm second chapter um psalm second chapter uh verse 11 brother uh, 10 11 12 brother psalm second chapter verse 10 11 12 12 you are all there brother yes brother ah, yes brother. ah read brother ah. 10 second chapter 10 11 the wise now therefore o ye kings the interest is us of the art serve the lord with fear and rejoice with trembling mm. kiss the son lest he be angry mm. and he perish from from the way when mm. he is what is kind late mm. but a little Mm. blessed are all they 
that put their trust in him. All these verses, the Pope is to claim that you are speaking about him. Therefore, you see, what is it? Be wise now, therefore, you kings. Be instructed, you judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoicing, with trembling. Kiss the sun. So they used to make a king to come and kiss the feet of Pope. You see? Or else you will be angry and perish from the way. Many, many scriptures were misused, applying to themselves. You see, all the verses which are applying to Christ. So, in this way, they used to enthrone any king and dethrone any king. Therefore, they have learned what this Antichrist will come, what will Antichrist will do, all the details is given in book of Daniel. Therefore, uh, what did the Jesus say? Matthew 24, 15. Read, brother. Matthew 24, 15, brother. Gopal, brother, can you read? Matthew 24, 15. Sure, brother. Hmm. When ye therefore shall see the abominations of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place, whoso read it, let him understand. Uh, you see? What does he say? Uh, when you shall see the abomination that make it desolate. Spoken of by Daniel the prophet. If you see it in the holy place, if you can see it is there in the church, then whosoever read it, let him understand. So Jesus referred us to read the book of Daniel for a better understanding. So what we are going to do is that we are going to study the book of Daniel in detail in the coming week. So coming week, so I request everybody to come a little bit early and come with the book of Daniel, reading Daniel 7 chapter. So we will see where and how in Daniel 7 chapter the Antichrist is mentioned. Okay, brother, any doubts, any questions? No. no. Okay, then uh, uh, we'll end the class here. So